literature shows that anticoagulation has an effect on patient health-related quality of life, and this in turn has an impact on other patient tissues such as adherence to medication. Now, there are several specific questionnaires that have been developed to assess satisfaction in patients who are taking anticoagulation, such as the PACT-Q questionnaire. However, there has been nothing yet validated and translated into the Maltese language. Therefore, the aim of the study was to assess the psychometric properties, reliability and validity of the Maltese translation of the PACT-Q. Malta was the ideal context to perform this study because it's a bilingual country where both English and Maltese are official languages. This allowed us to evaluate at the same time the original English version of the PACT-Q and to compare the psychometric properties. The PACT-Q is divided into two parts. The PACT-Q1 measures expectation and should be administered prior to treatment initiation. The PACT-Q2 measures convenience and satisfaction and should be administered during anticoagulant treatment. After forward and backward translation and a pilot testing in a small cohort of patients, we performed the proper validation of the Maltese PACT-Q. We enroll patients on warfarin treatment from different anticoagulation clinics in the Maltese island. For this reason, we could evaluate only the Maltese PACT-Q2. 174 patients completed the Maltese version and 157 completed the English version of the PACT-Q2. Reliability was very good for the convenience subscale with a Cronbach alpha coefficient of 0.86 and an intra-class correlation coefficient for the test retest of 0.87. However, reliability was lower for the satisfaction subscale, which can be partly due to the lower number of items in this scale and partly to a response bias. Floor effect was 0% and ceiling effect was very low for both subscales. At factor analysis, fit parameters were good and close to the reference values. We found no correlation between the two scales, confirming the fact that they cover different dimensions and they should be scored separately. At known group validity, we found that patients with history of bleeding showed lower convenience and lower satisfaction. In conclusion, our study shows that uh, the Maltese translation of the PACT-Q2 questionnaire is a valid instrument. This can be used in the anticoagulation clinics and also other anticoagulation related research. If you are interested to know more about our study, please find our paper published in the Journal of Patient Preference and adherence.